G'day and welcome back. Last episode we laminated and dressed the leg stock. Uh, in the meantime I also docked the frame stock to length again cutting for long rails and using a stop setting a stop block up for the shorter material. Today we're assembling the short rails to our legs. I'm going to use double dominoes so two dominoes per joint they're 10 by 100 millimetres and it will be brick out how strong. I could have used a, a lot of different joinery techniques uh, for, this, for this job. Could have used a standard mortise and tenon joint, although my skills and equipment mean that it's a lot harder to get right. I think this is going to be, going to be uh, good to get right. Yeah, it's going to be good. The butt joint which is basically what we have at the moment without these reinforcing parts. Yeah, well, it should do the job, but don't think it's going to be strong enough. Or I could use a half lap and bolt joint and bolts where I cut a notch out of the leg stock and fit the fit the um, fit the timber in, and that will result in a very strong joint. I think this is the most elegant way to go. All right, dominoes have the domino pockets have been cut and now it's ready for glue up. I was um, a little bit worried the first time I did this whether everything would go together okay. And um, well, I didn't want to turn the, uh, turn my workshop air blue um, on the chance that it didn't. So, um, I thought this time around, seeing as though it worked, I might give it another go. I could have made a mistake with this one, but we'll see what, what happens. They're pretty tight, these dominoes, which is what I like, um, mainly because if they're in rock solid, They aren't going to um, going to move, and the workbench will be what I want it to be, which is uh, integer. And of course, my clamp is the wrong length.
You never have the right clamp when you need it. Now, of course, I may lay my ears back on these things and snap a domino in this arm piece, and that would uh, will result in my in blue language. I was also a bit concerned first time I did it whether I drilled the hole deep enough. Last thing I wanted was, you know, 10 mils or half a banana um, sticking out and the joint wouldn't close properly because that would be uh, concerning as well. Come on out. The glue I'm using is a PVA glue. It's called Tight Bond 3. I've used it for donkey's years and I absolutely love it. Now I like that squeeze out there because that squeeze out is going to cover this face here. And so I'll have a glue joint throughout the, uh, throughout the joint. I'll, I'll have glue covering the entire joint. So again, brick out how strong, um, which is what I wanted. Sometimes I go in without too much, um, without requiring persuasion. Other times you uh, need to uh, use more sterner stuff. This is a little bit daunting doing it this way as well because, as I said, I don't want to break a domino in this hole because I've now got glue in it and doing that would be less than ideal and less than pleasant. Now here's the scary bit. Whether I've cut these holes correctly and whether everything lines up. I'm just going to put it in slightly. B2, B2, three marks. Yep, this is the one it goes into. I'm going to put him here. Get my square. And it is looking sweet, which is a big relief. Just put a bit of glue down the, um, down the guts of, um, of these ones. And um, yeah, Bob's the uh, brother of my wonderful yet late father. And uh, my Bob, Bob, my uncle, is a top bloke. All right. And of course, seeing as though we've got a little bit of a, um, we've got a tight joint. Hey, there we go. Mmm. Squeeze out. Happy with that. Again, I'm happy to clean up the uh, A2. Yep. I'm happy to clean, it, clean up the squeeze out, um, which I'll do with a chisel. It doesn't affect the geometry of the frame. And I know that my, uh, my surface is, is good. The, um, the thing is, is that if I've stuffed this joint up because I didn't check everything, there's not a lot of going back to, but my joint's good. Just going to put some waxed paper there so I don't glue my frame to my um, assembly table because that would be embarrassing. Come on, get in there. Squirt, squirt. Yep, there we go. Jobs are good. So, this is ideally a new take. These dominoes are a new take on a um, 
on the old floating mortar system. I like it and it works well. So I will carry on with this and I will, um, we will have two end frames that we now need to build the middle frame for. And you need to put the middle bits for. And then we'll be in Workbench City. Or Workbench Happiness, anyway. Come on. Again, still a bit nerve wracking doing it this way. Whoop. There we go, that's home. And so are you. So I've got a bit to prepare for my, um, for the middle frames because I am putting two styles um, in the middle of the workbench just to keep the unsupported area to a minimum and also it's a good place to store things like bench dogs. Um, I am putting spreaders in to make sure that the long rails don't um, don't bow in or bow out or do any strange behaviours. And those and the spreaders at the bottom will also be used for, um, for holding up or for supporting a, uh, a dolly or hopefully when it moves we'll have hoverboards. <laughs> that was supposed to happen five years ago, but it didn't. Um, yeah, so uh, what I'll be doing then is, um, is yeah, it's to support the, uh, the workbench when I, um, when we have to lift it up and move it around. There will be feet on this workbench to do the final adjustment to turn it into a um, to turn it into an outfeed table for my router and table saw which will be good because that way I can get things underneath uh, I can get a, a, a jack or something underneath and some cribbing underneath it so if I do have to move the um, move the bench now, I intelligently got this around the wrong way. Good on ya. Well, I prepare things and then I um, execute them. So let's hope I can get this right. Come on. Okay, that's A1, that's down, that's down. Smiley faces abound. Yip ya. Okay. Mount you. Oh, come on. I think I'll turn you on your side. Down this way, and of course, get in there. Right. Well, that's a good start. Yep, that's also a good start. Squirt of glue on those dominoes? Oh, I think so.
And there's a lot of barbecues, woodworking. In barbecuing, you can never have too much accelerant. And in woodworking, you can never have too much glue. Maybe I could be considered a handyman. Let's see if I have, let's see if this will result in smiles as opposed to swearing. I'm uh, keen for the smiles. But in this workshop, anything is possible. And a lot of things are probable. Come on. I've set everything up so you should be square and true. And I'm just clamping these things, yep. We've landed there, landed there. Booyah! And I'm going to say I'm very happy with that. So, smiles. <laughs>